Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early, man. It's 3 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, I, I wasn't initially going to talk about this story because I really have never heard any song by Phineas. Never even heard of him until I saw this article on TMZ. The article will be right down below so you can see what I'm talking about in case you, you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, this musician, Phineas, uh, on stage, I believe it was in Brooklyn, New York, at a show, planted a kiss on his male guitar player, but he's also, he, he's a straight guy, the Phineas, uh, he's, alleged, I guess he's dating a, a woman, a YouTuber, actually, like I said, it'll all be in the link down below, and I got caught up reading this article, I went to Twitter where this appeared, or X, whatever you want to call it, and I read the comments. And I just, I want to just talk briefly about this uh, for, for the record. Not that it really matters, but um, I consider myself heterosexual, uh, but I'm very open minded. Um, I, the first thing that came to mind when I saw everybody counted, a lot of people commented on this. Like I said, the link will be down below to the, to the X, uh, the, the, the video on X. And a lot of people had negative comments for this. A lot of people said they were just queer baiting. And I actually, I had an idea what that was. And I actually, I, the link will be down below for Wikipedia in case you don't know. Because I wanted to just make sure I knew what it was. And that's people who just, who uh, appear to be in a same-sex relationship or like a same-sex kiss just for the publicity just to uh, pull in the LGBTQ demographic and without offending people who are very straight-laced. I, I guess that's some kind of using the LGBTQ community. And then I saw some other comments, uh, like another comment that said basically the same thing, just, just doing this for attention. And this is, I actually commented. I, I, say, I don't usually comment on X, but I, I, and I thought about this. If, if, this was just for attention, then what does that make this person commenting on it? You know, I, 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 are they looking for it? They're looking for attention, commenting on something that they say is, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of uh, hypocritical, in my opinion. Another thing that came to mind, uh, Anthony Kiedis, the singer for Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, kissing Dave Navarro and uh, his other guitar player. I, there's a lot of kissing going on between Anthony. I, I've always got a kick out of this. I have. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I consider myself kind of rebellious. Uh, I, I, let me tell you a story. Let me, let me stop right there and tell you a story. I still remember, I remember being babysat at four or five years old by, uh, this was probably in 1970, going all the way back to 1970. And there was like, it was about an 18-year-old girl. Uh, she was babysitting me. And I remember her telling me, she's, you know, she, I, she, I, I wasn't doing what she was telling me. She says, you will obey me. And I, I, was, I think that's the first time I ever gave anybody the middle finger. I still remember that. I still, rem I always remember being very rebellious. Uh, doing something you're not supposed to do, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else, you know. Uh, you know, coloring outside the lines, whatever you want to call it. I, I love that. I think that's part of the reason I'm an artist. Um, here's another thought. All the violence on TV, just like on regular network TV, if you tune in any, uh, any network channel with the, you know, CSI or those other shows like that, the stuff they show on TV with guns and shooting and all that, you know, that's, that's fine, that's, just, you know, American, that's like apple pie, no problem letting kids see that stuff, but a simple kiss, you know, I, I wouldn't even, ki I wouldn't even consider it a kiss, a kiss like this, I wouldn't even consider it sexual, to me, it's not even sexual, it, it's just uh, uh, a show of friendship, really, uh, or <laughs> appreciation, uh, let me tell you guys another story. I actually talked about this in a video before. Uh, like I said, I consider myself straight, but I have kissed. I've, I've actually kind of romantically, sexually kissed another guy before. I can't really tell you how old I was in this, in this but I used to live out in the forest when I grew up. And there was, there was, I had no neighbors, so I had no 
friends, you know, no, there was no girls, just and, and, uh, a guy, uh, a guy my age moved in next door. Uh, this is preteen years, uh, a kid my age. And we started hanging out. And we found his father's penthouse magazines, like, you know, while well, we, we were home alone after school. And we started paging through stuff like that. And of course, we got, you know, curious. We didn't know what we were looking at. And we used to do this thing called exploring, where we would go in a dark room and we'd turn the light off so we wouldn't see each other. And we would uh, just kind of explore, I guess you'd call it. Uh, I, you know what? I think a lot of men have done this. I, I think a lot of men did this in their earlier years, uh, you know, it, it, out of curiosity. You know, straight men, uh, when they were younger, out of curiosity, without... It's easier to, to, to try something out with your buddy, basically, than it is with a girl when you're, you know, that young. You're, you're, you know, you're terrified. You're scared. <laughs> you're scared. You don't have the self-confidence to even talk to a girl. You know, and it's easier to experiment with your buddy. And uh, that, that happened quite, that happened more than once when I was younger. And, uh, you know, it doesn't change who I am. I'm secure in who I am. You know, I would, let's see, who would I kiss? Uh, who do I think is good looking? Uh, Brad Pitt, I, you know what? I'd give, I'd, give, I'd give Brad Pitt a kiss. You know what? I tell you what, I tell you what, I'd give Brad Pitt some tongue. I actually was, what? I, not that I really want to. I just enjoy saying that for the shock factor. Uh, all right, that's what I think about this. Anyway, I just wanted to talk briefly on that. You know, there's so much violence on TV, and then we should we scratch our heads and we wonder why all this stuff goes on out in the streets and in our schools. You know, the violence, all this stuff that we just show. It's like as American as apple pie. You know, the violence on TV and movies and everything else. And it's just, it's just like it's it's supposed to make. Just recently, uh, Donald Trump, just in one of his, uh, his recent rallies, he showed a video how he's going to man up the military. And I believe he showed clips from Full Metal Jacket, which had a lot of violence. It showed the sergeant yelling at the uh, recruits, you know, calling them slugs and worms and parasites or whatever. And it, it's, it's kind of ironic because that guy gets killed by one of the recruits, that recruits in the movie, which is kind of bizarre that Donald Trump is showing this. And then he also shows uh, clips of the LGBTQ community, people in the army, as being very feminine. And he's kind of making fun of them, you know, and he needs a good, tough, uh, you know, a good, tough military. And I think the thing is, you know, I, I've, had, I've had a lot of gay friends, and there's plenty of gay men that are big and masculine, and football players there in the army. You know, it, it's so stereotypical, you know, that, 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 Real men are supposed to be, you know, tough and big and masculine and muscular, wearing their army, uh, their ar army uniform. And there's plenty of gay men that look exactly like that. So don't judge a book by its color cover either. That's what I think about that. Kissing another man, sure, why not? It's just a kiss, you know. It doesn't hurt anybody. That's that's it for today. I'll be back later with another video. You guys have a good Tuesday.